Hello souls, how are you? Today we will receive messages from dear loved ones who passed away. If you want to receive a message from a dear person who passed away, stay with this reading. There will be timestamp in the description of the of this video and if the message resonates with you this means that it was meant to find you so think of beloved person you would like to receive message from look at the five piles choose the card that reminds you of this person Pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, pile number five. Choose the card that reminds you of their energy. I hope you make your choice and let's start with pile number one pile number one this person doesn't want to talk with you mm, this is part of my routine I first ask whether this soul would like to talk with us. For some reason, this specific soul doesn't want to talk with you. Maybe they have other tasks to do in uh, their life from the other side. I'm, I cannot advise you why they don't want to talk to you. Don't be sad. We will check if there's other so that would like to stay uh, to talk to you no it looks like there's no so uh what i can advise you it is to check the other piles but you have to think about another person so for the moment this one doesn't want to talk to you but um uh, this is just for the moment and we have to we have to deal with this okay let's see pile number two what is the message from dear loved ones who passed away a very clear message they tell tell you that they love you They love you. Let's see what is the exact message. So, they are saying that, first of all, they want to know you, the, they want you to know that they love you and that uh, they will be waiting for you from the other side. And uh, even after so many, many years, they will be there waiting for you. And they are telling you that nobody 
knows where they where when their time will come this is a secret it could come after many years it could come all of the sudden but uh, their message is that you don't know and you should shouldn't have to know this is the secret the mystery of life so if you are thinking that uh, your time is uh, close and uh, this uh, your, that your life is already finished that you'll be with them soon their message is and um, don't be so sure nobody knows this they really want you to know this let's see the second point of this message They are disappointed that um, you, you have started some project and then you abandoned it, left it uh, suspended. So they are disappointed with you. Mm, they say, I expected more from you. Maybe you started uh, some studies or uh, building a house but i had this feeling that it was some sort of uh, something for you for your personal growth you started it uh, and it was something you knew it was really useful for you really good you were building it and then you suspended it and they are disappointed with you uh, and they say I'm watching you from above. I see how you suspended this project and I I'm really really sorry for this that you are doing. Like uh, uh, you are having this chance and you want to throw it like this. something uh, beautiful and you want to leave it to die like this uh, without taking care of it it could be also a house that you are not taking care of or maybe for uh, your physical body something like this that you are not taking care of, and they are like ang not angry but disappointed with you that you are wasting this beauty and this potential so what else uh, they are telling you you can do all, all, all this you can do it but you are making like uh, Mm. on purpose you are trying to deceive everybody around you by saying that you cannot do it but yes you do you can do it so don't be afraid to move on if you want to punish somebody uh, you have to know that uh, revenge is not the best advisor you need to walk away and find find this free spirit that once you had and look for new possibilities in your life don't be stuck thinking about revenge that was your message by number two
Let's see, pile number three. Maybe this is a fresh that somebody who passed away recently. And let's see what is the message from a dear loved one who passed away for you, pile number three. They're saying that uh, that was already coming, but you refuse to see it. And there, there was already um, some change happening. And uh, maybe you are saying that you are not aware but uh, this soul is telling you that the changes were already happening and you refuse to see them and that this was your personal decision because you prefer to stay safe in your in your house in your everyday life you prefer to not see these changes not to pay attention to them until everything uh, became really obvious for you and uh, this soul moved on had to go on its own way I have the feeling that this is a message uh, for you, uh, it could be interpreted also that they didn't uh, want to see the change, but I have the feeling that you are the one who didn't notice these little changes or you um, refuse to accept this change this this transformation this that you refuse you refuse to see it so they are a, a little bit sad about this that uh, you had to receive this wake-up call because they believe that uh, there was another possible scenario for this uh, that uh, if you were uh, aware earlier you could be more not that shocked and not that uh, surprised okay let's see what else they want to tell you They are telling you to stop drinking, stop it, quit it, you are making a fool of yourself, you are making a fool of yourself, you need to stop it and quit it, this is ridiculous, very, they are very, <laughs> very angry with you they're making you like this you need to stop making fool of yourself this cup addiction it needs to end this is what they are telling you and what else Mm. 
So they're telling you that very soon you will hear about some love romantic interest of a male and they're telling you they are advising you to accept this offer to hear what this people what this person has to tell you and uh, not to be afraid to move forward <laughs> they are telling you also that most probably you cut this person off because you have a very strong character however the advice of this soul this dear loved one who passed away is that you have to take this offer and go smoothly don't be afraid of changes don't be afraid to look for to look for new opportunities you can still you you can still have time to build up new house new home don't be afraid don't uh, don't allow yourself to be the victim of this situation that was all for you card number three Pile number four. I guess this card reminds you of somebody. This face. So let's see what is the message of this person. What they want to tell me. Mm -mm. And they are telling you that there's some of sort of um, scam or some sort of um, trickstery within your family Ex within your extended family this is um, not your parents but let's say cousins and uh, grandparents and second degree relatives uh, and in your surrounding there's something uh, that you don't see there's some sort of somebody is lying to you maybe they're a different person who has to uh, who are waiting for some heritage or for a will and uh, all this person all these people are competing between them but there's something that you don't see what it's all about so it's related maybe it's related Partially it's related to your mother and maybe to some money you are not aware of. So there's uh, some amount of money they are hiding from you. Maybe they are not telling you that there were some money left. So what are advising you to do in relation to this situation? 
they are telling you play the fool so play that uh, act like you don't know anything about everything about anything but uh, just ask some uh, stupid questions and the truth will come out and you will receive a wake-up call you will uh, understand that you have been fooled and this will stress you a lot will cause you additional stress but it's something you have to know somebody is making you a fool and it's somebody from your family from your relatives who is uh, making all these smoke and mirrors what else They're telling me that uh, your father or some uh, father figure who passed away was having a secret uh, relationship. for a while and uh, so there was this secret relationship and uh, it, they were not in love actually with this woman it was just for uh, maybe they were having some uh, issues with uh, their uh, wife and they decided to make sm some small revenge by cheating or by finding this affair finding this other woman what else They are advising you <laughs> It's really specific advice maybe it's for some of you Remember this is a general reading for a lot of people So for those of you who are trying to make some uh, like witchcraft or some magical stuff like uh, I get the vibe of the witchcraft their advice is to quit it as up because you can get hurt they are telling you that you don't actually know how to deal with this and that you may get punished so quit it now that was your reading pile number four and finally pile number five message from dear loved ones who passed away we have very young energy here very tender very soft childish like filled with love
I love you. They they say I love you. message I love you and I'm watching you from above I'm guiding you I'm guiding you and I'm giving you directions where you have to move You can hear me also. Mm. <clears throat> so we have this tender energy and we have this strong energy um, next to them. So maybe we have This young energy is telling you, don't be afraid. I'm not alone here. I have these people watching me. Watching uh, after me. They're taking care of me. And we all are watching after you and taking care of you. And listen, they're telling you, listen. This is important. We all are watching over you. They are telling you that you became too rigid like uh, in a box and you have to step out of the box and start living again like you are almost uh, petrified like you almost uh, became uh, became from stone and they're telling you don't be afraid to don't be afraid to cry don't be afraid to appear weak. Don't try to be always the strongest one. Always in control of yourself, of your world, of your emotions. Be the strongest. Don't, you don't need to do this. Sometimes it's good to cry. What else? Mm, they remember maybe you look like this woman they remain remember how you are holding them like this like holding them hugging them they remember it it's like now that they are watching you from above they remember this how you are hugging them And they know how much effort, they also remember how much effort you took to build this family, your family. How much it cost you, how much nights, days work and how you are fighting every day with a lot of different tasks maybe you are doing uh, different jobs 
and responsibilities and you're managing to achieve everything for in order to provide them this happy rainbow what else They're telling me that uh, there's some disappointment in your marriage, I would say, because we have this uh, couple here and this uh, sadness between them. So they are not understanding why are you why are you doing this? Why is this sadness between you? How you uh, cannot how you are trying to avoid some situation? Why are you lying to yourself? Why are you deceiving yourself? What is the thing that you don't see? Tell me what what should I get? Hmm. So they are angry. Oh this gave me chills they are angry with you because uh, you lost this uh, romantic side so what are they telling me exactly why they are angry with you how you allowed this sadness took place between you you have you still have this love there are still feelings between you two don't don't avoid this situation you need to you need to talk with each other maybe you are avoiding some topics or uh, avoiding talking to each other I mean you and your husband or you and your wife you are avoiding each other but uh, this uh, soul is telling me first of all they are angry with what are you doing they are angry with you that with both of you because you are avoiding yourself and they are angry because they tell you that you still love each other that you are soulmates you are made, made one for each other you still have this love and there's so much more to come and that you have to be together and uh, this card is the card of the cold bed so um, they're telling you this needs to end and you need to be intimate again and you need to allow this love to to live Allow love to live. This is the message for you, pile number five. Allow love to live. If this resonates with you, please comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you tomorrow.